Hi, how you doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Art, the most famous makeup artist that you never heard of yet. <laughs> Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're first time to my channel, hey, what's up? How you doing? My name is Art. So today's episode is going to be a little bit different than usual. It's not going to be about makeup. It's not going to be about skincare as well. Uh, this time I thought I will show you the space and the place that I actually doing my videos So I will show you I will guide you through my makeup room my studio um, It's quite hard to say if it's like a makeup studio because it's very tiny. It's super super tiny. It's super super small uh, But I thought I will share with you my knowledge and I will show you how I set up my equipment and how I set up my spot to make the videos for YouTube channel and all of my social media as well. So maybe if you're a beginner, if you're starting to uh, build up your portfolio, build up your um, social media, uh, your YouTube channel, maybe this is going to be some kind of an idea for you, how to set up your equipment, where to buy the equipment, how to set up the background, lightning, microphone, uh, the camera, and all the set that is needed for your first um, YouTube channel. Is it vlogging? Is it makeup channel? Is it beauty channel? Is it sport, dancing? Anything you want, anything you want. Um, maybe you will find some um, ideas and maybe I will try to answer some of your questions that are in your head. So, completely different video than, than usual. It's going to be like a tiny vlog. Uh, I will use my, uh, my tripod to hold my telephone and to record everything. Hopefully it's gonna go well. Uh, so if you want to see how my studio looks like, uh, keep on watching. Maybe it won't be the best quality of the lightning in this video, but I want you to see how it actually looks like. So um, before I'm gonna enter, I'm gonna just leave the room and show you how it looks. Okay, so we're entering the room when I'm doing all the videos for my YouTube channel. Sorry about the mess. I mean, I'm not sorry about the mess. It's tiny room, so there's not possible way that I can, you know, set up everything and make everything organized, but I'm trying my best. So it looks like this. As you can see, the room is super, super tiny. And this is like my wardrobe slash my video studio, makeup studio, beauty room. And it looks just like that. my wardrobe slash uh, makeup studio so because I don't have much space over here so I've set all my clothes um, over here and on the hanger which I did actually by myself and the drawers everything I did by myself I put it on the wall so I'm like you know very handyman and, and all the makeup all the palettes that I'm using are just over here on the makeup tray actually this is like a tray for um, uh, for the kitchen that you can use for any supplies, but it's a good way to hold your palettes and the other stuff. So most of the palettes that I'm using are just over here. So they're they are um, separate in those trays of, as well. So it's very uh, handy. But the most difficult thing for me is because I don't have a drawer. They're getting dusty very quick, so I need to clean them quite often. Um, on the bottom, I've got some lashes. I've got the, this, this big beauty blender. Uh, and this is a small drawer, uh, which you can find in B&M. Um, and I'm just holding small bits and bobs like mm, like some extra glue uh those some just magic stones for the makeup um yeah whitening something <laughs> some extras bits and bobs and then on the bottom i've got all the all the makeup that i'm using for my makeover so um this is mostly everything that I'm using uh, doing to like doing my own makeup. But if I'm traveling, if someone needs a makeup, so I've got everything set and those plastic bags, travel bags. So uh, I don't need to like pick up separate stuff for which is going to be for the travel and which is going to be for myself. So everything is set. Uh, and to be honest, I don't receive any PR packages yet. So um, it's quite hard to separate them for makeup, which is going to be at home. And this one, which is going to be for traveling. This is the wardrobe section. So 
we're not interested in clothes, right? Not at the moment. <laughs> Those are the uh, panels that you're using for like, um, like singing studios, vlogging studios. So they absorbing um, the echo, which is like, you know, going to the wall and then everything is like messed up when you're recording videos, especially with the sound. So I got them on eBay. So I got a set of eight, but unfortunately, unfortunately, half of them were super flat. So I couldn't even like put them on the wall because they were not doing the thing they supposed to do. Uh, but they've sent me um, a separate one set of six, which is still in the back. Uh, I, I'm going to use them later on. So I've got four of the panels on the wall and other four I've got on the ceiling. So whenever I'm talking, um, the voice is not getting so distracted, distracted in the room. Uh, yeah, so here I've got more, um, more makeup, more palettes, obviously in the boxes as well. Uh, and this is my makeup, uh, makeup set and the vlogging set as well. So this is the main desk. I used to have like a more, like a spacious taking uh, desk, which was like three times as this one. Um, but I thought it's too big, so I decided to change it for something smaller. So this one is from Ikea, the basic, basic one with a drawer. But the only thing which is um, uncomfortable over here that the drawer is not going out fully. It's just like half away. Uh, so you can't put too much things underneath uh, too much, uh, just like, like this, because it's easier to take it out. But if you're going to put something on the back, you're going to lose it or you're going to forget about it and you're never going to use it, to be honest. Uh, here I've got my brushes for makeup. So I got those in B&M as well. Um, so those are just like a metal uh, trace. Actually, they are for flowers, but you can use them for anything you want. So I've separated the brushes as well. And all of them got the separate, um, separate space. Uh, this is my mirror that I'm using for uh, makeovers. Hey, <laughs> so this one is from Ikea as well. It's very handy because uh, it looks nice. So this is like a selfie light. Uh, it's quite handy. The light is quite handy, but the mirror is amazing as well because it looks nice. It's very stable and it has a tray on the bottom as well. So I can put extra stuff over here like the brush cleanser. Uh, this is the plastic where I'm mixing foundations, uh, lenses for photos, um, beauty blender and some extra bits and bobs. And over here, uh, I've got a plastic acrylic organizer, which I got, this one I got in uh, Primark. Um, and this one I got in Ikea, and this is from B&M, so everything is quite affordable. Um, so the bottom one, which I got from Primark, has two drawers, so you can put um, whatever you want. So in one, I've got some, I don't know, some, some mess, and the other one has only blushers. And this one I got from Ikea. So I'm just holding uh, over here some bits and bobs, some beauty blenders, cotton buns, and this plastic tray uh, where I'm holding all my uh, makeup set. I, I mean, actually this is like a skincare set and stuff for removing the makeup where I'm doing makeup. So it's very handy, which is just like in the grab of hand. So it's easy to reach it and everything is like in, in one spot. So it's everything is super, super, super organized. Uh, obviously, there's a bin, so I'm not bin, 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 bin. So handy, quick to bin. Da, da, da. And there's a view from my window, right? So um, what else? Those are two uh, soft boxes that I got like ages ago. Um, they're very basic. I got them on. I got those um, soft boxes on AliExpress or eBay. No, I got them on Wish. This was like a very long story. So I was starting uh, doing videos and makeup and I was looking for some light. I didn't know like the ring lamps are existing uh, at all. Uh, so I got those two soft boxes, which I pay for them about like 60 pounds. But the story was uh, that I was struggling with turning them on and the actual cable was broken. So I had to message the seller and explain why the lamp is not working. And after a couple of months of trying to figure out and explain to the seller that it's not working, they've sent me um, new cables. And at the end, everything looks and works um, amazingly. The other thing is the background. So I started doing the background with um, 
fairy lights. So this is like a massive set of fairy lights, which is from the ceiling and it's going just like off the half, on the half of the wall. And it looks super nice and cool um, just on its own. Uh, and on the top, so I've got those um, fringes, just those, this is just the background, this one, the colorful, the pinky green. So I got it on eBay as well and it was going in a set of two i think i had some issues with um uh, with the deliveries because i was missing two of them at the beginning um and then the seller sent me extra two which i really appreciate that which is super 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 cool uh then this background so i got it on ebay as well i'm gonna link everything down underneath below this video so you can find it easily where i got this uh, backgrounds as well i'm not sure about the ring the um, soft boxes because i got them like ages ago but the rest should be still updated. So this background, I got it on eBay and I've ordered one to see if the color and uh, quality of uh, this background is okay. And it was amazing. And it's big enough to cover the whole background for me. And it's suitable for like everything, like videos, uh, for selfies, everything. And it looks on the video super, super magical. So I got this uh, navy blue. I got the silver one, um, I've got the red one as well, and the gold one, so I'm just changing, depends on the mood. So I think the, the red one was on Christmas, this one, the gold one was on the first video that I made on YouTube. Uh, I haven't used this one, to be honest, it doesn't look so, so cool as I expected. And now I've got the um, navy blue, which is super nice, and with the other background, which is on the back, comparing with the lights, everything looks so nice. So you can see a little bit of a reflections of a green light as well. Those are lamps. Oh, those lamps are super cool. So I got them a couple of months ago. And this is like the background lamp, um, which is so effective and it's doing such a cool thing for the videos. And this one, um, I got it on eBay, I think. Uh, they were coming in a set of two and those covers when you're changing the light you can change them so uh, the original one is like white but you can change the colors for uh, red blue and this um, yellow one but obviously you can find a uh, separate covers for the light and change them however you want it and this extra tube is um, for is actually from my boyfriend's dancing studio because using them for uh, for the background for videos. But I thought I will use it and see how it looks while I'm recording the video. And it was a very good idea because to be honest, when I've tried to video a couple of times, the background light looks the background light looks super 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 cool. Yeah, so I've got a few different colors of this. Um, of this lamp so maybe i'm going to change it in the future and what i've got here so this is my latest um latest baby and i love it i love it so much and i regret that i didn't bought it like ages ago so this is a ring lamp and that one i got from uh, clavier so this is a polish website um and you can purchase those ring lamps on their website i got it on black friday sale and it was a bargain so it's more 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 um cheaper than you you would buy it um in uk and this is actual on laser on laser on laser that's the name of the um, of the ring lamp uh, it has a um, tripod as well so it's standing properly on the on the floor it had a um, holder for the phone as well which is very convenient and this is the spot where i'm holding my microphone while i'm recording the videos then this is my spot where I'm taking photos. So um, this is my main window, but the blind is black with some um, silver glitter. So photos look amazing on this background, but obviously uh, I've got blend. I don't know how to say it in English, but in Polish we call it blenda. So the blenda is for um, reflecting the light while taking photos, but I'm using it as a background sometimes as well so it has different colors so here you've got like a gold and um gold and silver and on the other side is completely silver but when i'm going to take it out and there is completely full gold uh color and um uh, and the white so normally you're using it for um reflecting the light so the photos look uh much more uh juicy and intense but 
obviously you can use it for different things like I'm using it as a background but also as well as like the reflecting um, when I'm taking the photos and it's very convenient because you can fold it you can put it in the back there's like a separate case and then put it in the back and it's uh, we can take it with you whatever and I usually like to play music while I'm doing makeovers but unfortunately when I'm doing it for YouTube I can't play music because um, because uh, of the restrictions and privacy, so obviously I'm just doing everything um, without the music, but I need to figure out the other way of doing everything because I need music to do uh, makeovers. And there is a speaker which I'm always connecting while I'm doing makeovers or listening just basically to the music, Tommy Jeans um, Bluetooth speaker, which is super cool, it looks nice. Uh, this is like a silicone, but this part is... Um, Filled like denim, like jeans. So this is super, super, super cool. Um, I've got toilet over here, which is super convenient in the room because when I'm doing makeup and I need to wash my face or just use the toilet, it's just over here. So it's super, 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 super convenient and very easy to use. Okay, oh, and there's the mirror. Hey, <laughs> so that's me. Uh, so that's the big mirror because um, I'm looking when I'm doing makeup I'm looking on both sides like every side this side this angle every angle just to make sure that my makeup is is good uh, What is here? Um, there's a stand for for the jacket that I did um, Last year Yeah, I think last year. So yeah, but this is like something extra so uh, those are the covers for the uh, for the tripods um, this is the cover from the ring lamp uh, there's another cover for the soft boxes and stuff and so everything is hid hidden hidden behind the door so you can't see it but because the space is actually super super tiny I need to be very um, I don't know versatile and very very organized to put everything on on the spot where it should be so I can find everything easily and while making videos everything is looking nice and professional and and that's how my makeup studio makeup room slash wardrobe looks like uh, and it's always like everyone everyone sees the cover of the book so everyone sees the background the amazing lightning and everyone is saying like oh my god your videos are so amazing which has I really really appreciate guys for following my channel and like giving me support and giving feedbacks all the feedbacks positive negative about my videos because it's I'm always learning I'm learning every day so I'm uh, I'm trying to to do my best to satisfy myself first of all and then satisfies you guys as well with my videos so hopefully you're gonna like them and uh, what else so uh, but this is how it looks to be on real life on uh, the first cover of the video the first cover of the book looks amazing about when you're gonna go inside when you're gonna read piece by piece you will see how it actually looks like so I showed you piece of my life piece of my makeup room slash wardrobe uh, which is like super tiny but it's very convenient at the moment for uh, for for my needs so hopefully in the future um, I will change it for something bigger if my journey is gonna go uh, is gonna go well but we'll see and I hope this tiny vlog is gonna give you some idea, some help. Maybe it's gonna open a little bit of your imagination how to how you can create a, a makeup room and for your for your YouTube channel, even if it's like super super small, even if it's smaller than my room, you are still able to set up a tiny desk, a tiny spot, maybe in the in the back of your living room, in your bedroom, in the kitchen when the lightning is super super good. Mm, just to have an idea and you just need to start with something at the beginning right we we are always learning something so I'm not like the best person in making videos on YouTube I'm just starting and learning but I believe in myself and I know in the future it will it will grow and it will be very successful so I hope your videos are gonna be successful as well if you're starting something new finger crossed uh, if you like this video please leave a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well this means a lot to me uh, especially when I'm building my portfolio at the moment uh, if you have any questions please just comment down below down below on the videos I will try to answer any of your questions I'm gonna to try to help you out to um, find some solutions for your setup when you're doing your um, your YouTube channel but all the um, I will try to link all the stuff that I bought um, underneath 
uh, the video and this is going to be some helpful tip maybe to get some extra light, uh, some background, some back backdrops, some lightning as well or any like trays for, uh, for brushes. Um, so anything you need, drop me a message, leave a comment underneath this video. Hope you're going to like it. Uh, and I will see you uh, in the next episode. I'm so excited. Um, I mean, I'm excited that you're excited to see me in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. See you later. Ooh.